At the bottom of the world was my base worth millions of coins, but one day when I logged on, I was met with everything destroyed and gone. Hundreds of hours were lost, however revenge wasn't on my mind. Instead, I was determined to do something that was considered impossible. These are coins, the only number that truly mattered in this world. Because the current richest player had every item in the game, an army at their command, and the largest base on the server, all because they had 10 million coins. And I only had 10. So if I want to become richer than all of these players, then I gotta build something that could change my life. This is Nugrade V2, a farm that is said to produce almost half a million emeralds every hour. If each emerald sells for 15 coins, then we can make this by the end of the day. However, there is a reason and nobody dared to build this far. For starters, you needed 30 villagers and enough slime that would cost us millions. So if we wanted enough to build the $7 million farm, I had to convince my friends to sell everything they had. The only people that knew of this plan was Maypick and Peter, but we were a team of three against hundreds of players. So while they were hesitant to sell their stuff, they understood that this was our only chance. However, to make this process easier, we needed to set up a temporary camp. Camp. And our first idea was to build a sky base, but it appeared someone very rich built one first. Hey, am I the only one that sees that? Wait, what the hell? Zoom in on that. <laughs> Hold on, let's take a look, see. That's a base. So is this place... Wait. It's not claimed. Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see here. What? What the f fishing Julunk tool? <laughs> fishing su super enchanting. <laughs> super spanner. <enchanting>. Move. Move. <laughs> Bloxers. <laughs> Wait, this kid is dead. I feel like we should just leave oh. it though. This poor kid is going to quit forever. Guys, this is our base now. <laughs> However, there is one thing stopping us from robbing this kid. Our storage. All of our ender chests were already full. And we couldn't just leave this loot here for the taking. So I can't came up with a crazy idea. I realized the players were able to track us because of the claim chest. While it stops players outside of your team from griefing our base, it also sends an alert if you enter a claim chunk. So instead, we placed a claim chest in the kid's base as a decoy and moved all of the items to a stash a few hundred blocks away. Okay, okay, so this is f***ed up. We have to unclaim this when we're done, Pintar, come here. Their name. Oh yeah, the axolotls? I did notice that. Axel it was going... and shimmered neon friends. <laughs> <laughs> this kid may not realize it, but it is no. a noble sacrifice for a good cause. <laughs> this isn't okay. Eventually, we finished transporting the items into the stash and began selling. Once everything was sold, Mapic had acquired a million coins. A couple million off from what we needed to build the ultimate raid farm. So we had to go with plan B. The ENX-04 stacking raid farm. Despite it looking much simpler, this farm utilized the same mechanics mechanic and would make us almost 900,000 coins per hour. And luckily, Ian always included the material list. However, I was fearful a farm this complicated wouldn't work on the server, so I used Lightmatica to paste it onto my test world. <gasps> Oh my god! Now this is one for the books. The farm seems simple to use at first, but I didn't even know how to get on the platform. What the f*** are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm mad confused right now. Why do you need this? It's to get up on the farm. You can fly! <laughs> to use the farm, I needed to click precisely and consistently every second. And since I lacked both of those things, I booted up my auto clicker after almost launching GTA 5. But I didn't know how to turn it off. Dude, like, what are you doing? I had my <laughs> auto clicker on. But eventually, I was ready to begin. Spoke, you're starting a raid, don't die. I do not remember what. You shift, look down, and sweeping edge. Well, I don't know what, like, what's setting. How many emeralds did this make an hour? Yeah, because this looks like it ain't making anything an hour. Oh. The farm may have looked slow in the moment, but I knew it took time for the farm to start stacking raids. So, a full trust in the ENX04 farm, I wanted to give my shot at Nug Raid V2. But let's just say it was a bit different. Let's see if I know how to run this one. Lamp on collect lamp off yes, yes collect. collect what the oh. <laughs> what does that mean what's the third one there's three lamps what the <laughs> what's the third one it, like here i think and then what is happening <laughs> what is this i'm definitely not using this correctly there's no rain <laughs> there's no rain what That's happening. look around look around go creative look around where does the rain spawn <laughs> this is a rain <laughs> yes this Wait, check for stuff check for stuff check for stuff why would there be stuff i'm supposed <laughs> to kill them <laughs> maybe you did already maybe you 
did already. What is this? <laughs> Hold on. Go in. Give yourself that on. No, that's... I don't... I just don't think that is how it works. Give how is he going to start a raid? What is this under raid? What is this? the raid fairy is going to, like, fly in your room and start giving you totems? It's not going to work. I don't... I don't know how to start this. Spawn a pillager. Summon a pillager, man. What? Even though we're building the other farm first, there were still a lot of items we were missing. So while Mapic began buying the materials, I went searching for the more obscure items, like magma blocks and a lily pad. I had no idea what that could possibly be used for, but at least the soul sand was less challenging. Gast! Gast! It's the gast! It's the gast! You know what happens if you get hit by a gast, right? Bad things man you have to tickle a horse however i proceeded to spend the next hour searching for a swamp to eventually look back over the video to discover wait what what look at this shit it's used for convenience <laughs> i told you finally we had everything to build the farm but there was no way we can start now especially with over 500 players online so we waited until that night to build the farm as fast as possible we knew there was a good chance we wouldn't sleep at all but it was a necessary sacrifice when it was time we disguised ourselves in the lobby and found an ocean far out to begin since the world was very small we knew players would come across us soon so we had to get the farm working as soon as possible except a stacking raid farm like this required crazy precision but we discovered a serious problem what is this are we not able to climb scaffolding what does the server not allow scaffolding what are you kidding me i was forced to use dirt to help me build the rest of the farm this was a massive setback so to help us speed up the process we began lava casting parts of the farm to create the extra blocks inside the cast i began building the killing chamber while i continued building mapic was at an outpost grinding bad omen 5 so we can immediately start the farm when it was completed pentar on the other hand was positioned at the top of the farm where he could drop me items and i could slash tpa to teleport up to him to start working Working on the top. Finally, I had to build the villager pods. Typically, it would be a pain to move all of the villagers into these things, but on this server, you can find villager spawn eggs and structures, which saved us a lot of time. All I had left to do was connect the chamber to the villager tower with the redstone signal that would power the entire farm. However, the piston that needed to move didn't move. Why doesn't my redstone power it? Are pistons f***ing disabled? I have to extend the claim. Like you're right that was the issue that was the issue because now check this check this ready ready boom bada boom 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 works let's go that's how you do it Thank God. knew okay. it jesus christ after an hour i finished building the farm but we still had to figure out if this thing even worked however mapic who had acquired bad omen 5 accidentally started a raid on his way back this meant i had to head to the structure next door to obtain it again as soon as possible i just wasted my life that took me like two hours it takes a really long time to find a banner spoke yeah i see a ba banner guy yeah, but that's like yes. it's crowded by so many i see them i see them we have to get this um bad omen as soon as possible bro, before i know bro start finding this stuff it's glitched you're in you're in got it oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> there's so many you're doing good oh there's no banner there's one whiff of banner i saw it's not anymore i don't have bad omen and there's no banners what well that's good that means it's somewhere else that's even with a possible banner that's a banner that's a banner good shit. yeah all yeah right. okay all right, all right. okay right when i get here it's gonna start this is like actually the big tester right here we just hope it works now f3 up do you see any mm, no i knew something was wrong with the farm but i didn't even know where to start so i used replay mod to look back at what happened and the raid didn't even spawn i booted up the test world to compare if somehow the lifesteal server changed the farm and that's when i noticed something was off it wouldn't make like they wouldn't change the raid mechanic i don't think just the one difference this is bouncing up every time this armor stand bounced it sends a signal to the villager tower which moved their stations somehow causing the raids to stack but if we couldn't find a way to bounce the armor stand then the farm would be useless so you have to hit it in a specific way yeah Try hitting it. like diagonally like that yeah that's not bouncing. What's the fucking difference? If Lifesteal disabled this feature, then we had to find another way to time the signal. My first idea was to make a redstone clock that matched my auto clicker, but even that was struggling to work. So we went with the Mapic idea. Okay, look at my screen share. Like, if I place a piece of redstone here and we both click it at the same time, we can make it work. But the problem is, it takes millisecond precision. You know what? Am I right? It's a little stupid, but I mean. Yeah, and then redstone. This is so weird. Jesus Christ, what the <laughs> f are we doing? I'm just gonna do it reactive on when you swing. All right, begin. 
keep going. We can easily time like an auto clicker though. No way. No way. Wait. That did. That actually started an actual raid. What the? F oh dude. shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's, oh, sh no, there's way. no fucking way we get around this. There's look at that. No look way. at the top bar. Look at the top bar. Yes. Let's go. Check this out. Check this out. They're gonna nah. fall. They're gonna fall. Yeah! We were excited, but this meant that we had to perfectly match the timing here onto the real server. However, we were starting to go insane. By this point, the sun was starting to rise, and the farm wasn't working, despite everything I tried. Eventually, Maypick began searching for possible problems we could try to identify, using the test world and eventually schematics. Okay, check villager pod. No, check, for sure check, for sure the check. exact block they're supposed to be at. No, these are all, these are all right. What? Okay. Um, is it inside of the composter um yes this one is inside the composter i i'm just i'm just hoping we find something that is wrong so we can fix it yeah yeah um i think literally i might just have to move the villager i don't have faith i think i think it's over if we don't i'm not kidding i'm gonna hit him okay all right keep him there Got it. and then boom that should literally be our only difference I'm gonna do it right as the bar disappears at the top of my screen yes. just just uh, j yeah just go oh, oh i heard it oh my Holy god Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Holy shit, there's another one. That's, another one. That, it, that's all that matters. We we got it. We actually got it. We got it. We got it. it. Are you sure? It, Are you sure? Does, no, main pick. Think about it. If it doesn't drop, that it just means a timing thing. I don't care, bro. I have more hope now. Bro. We got it to f spawn. Only one round spawn, but this proved that there was a chance that our master plan could work. But by the next attempt, we had already lost it. I mean, uh, I'm it. Oh. Nah. I don't hear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep going, keep going. I kept blaming it on timing, but every tweak didn't make the difference. We were exhausted, and by the 10th test, it was clear we were reaching our wits end. TPA. Mystic Storm! Mystic Storm! <laughs> Why are we not contrabanding? We're famous for a reason! Why are we Minecraft YouTubers if we're not going to abuse our status? Oh my god! I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's too stressful. It's too stressful. I'm going to lose my mind. It's going to work this time. Oh, don't you dare walk on that pressure plate. What should I walk? What should I walk? Now. It's not going to work. I've never went soft so fast. I think it's done. I do it early. Okay, hop on test server. Hop on test server. Let's do it one more time on test server. All right, we got to at least try mad early next time, all right? Mad early. No, no, Please don't make me do this. Why am I wearing this skin? Spoke, buddy. One more, one more, maybe. Okay, come on. One more, one more for the clips. I'm not shitting you. This is my last time. Banner. Oh, I don't give a Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. GG's. All right. Good game, guys. I'm heading out. I knew it was something that we hadn't noticed yet, but eventually everyone logged out, leaving me to concede. But that night, everything would change. The farm was found and overrun with players in full netherite, blowing up everything. I was chased back to the vault to discover it empty and in ruin. Eventually, the players found me and spawn killed me permanently off the server. Then Peter's hamster came to tell me to wake up. I was lying about the hamster part, but not even kidding, I had that exact nightmare and it convinced me to roll out of bed after an hour of sleep to fix this stupid farm. I spent the next few hours deep diving into YouTube comment sections and Discord servers with people asking questions that have never been answered. I was hoping to find one problem that I could identify, but I eventually began to piece it together. I decided to rebuild the timing system as a minecart instead, which would presumably fix the timing problem, but there was something else. On large servers like this one, it's pretty common to see lag, but even the smallest lag spikes can affect the most important part villagers. As you can see in the replay, they are supposed to be swapping jobs every time, but instead they change slowly like this. After hours of searching for solutions, I only found one post which suggested a very expensive solution. However, if this didn't work, then nothing would. I think we're ready. Maybe do you want to head to the top then? Holy shit. Oh. Yes! Wait. Yes! Wait, wait, wait. Yes! Wait, wait, wait. wait. 
Wait, I can see it from above. It's working perfectly. It's working? The first time the raid spawned was just crazy luck. And now we knew how to replicate it. But we still need to figure out how to stack them. Because what we have now is just not enough. However, time was up. Wait, there, there's an actual person. What? There's an actual person in the water. They can't see it. But there's an actual person. Jump them, jump them, jump them. Wait, there's someone here. I killed him, but someone just boated up to us. Oh my god, you're right. What? Smoke, get to work. Okay. Smoke, we gotta do this soon. Okay, we've had one player come two. by. No, no, don't. Two. Two. Two players. Yeah, because there's five or 600 people on. It's double what it was yesterday. It was now peak hours, which meant most of the hunting group was online. And since Pentar killed the player, it revealed his name in chat. And it was only a matter of time before more arrived. I realized the problem was with the killing chain. So I instantly began building the design that said to work. Oh, person, person, person. Wait, two people, two people. But it seems like our mission was doomed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's working. If I head up here, this one is not working. It might be a loading problem. Okay, Nug Raid ain't gonna work if this doesn't work. Your, I think your goal will literally be to stand here. Pentar, are you ready to come back? Yep. A raid started. Oh, that's good. It's starting another it's, one. It's starting it's another one. Good. Holy shit. It's up here. It's starting. What? I'm gonna suck a dick. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> another one's starting. Wait, what? Yes. Holy. Pentar, you better start selling, man. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Let's oh my go. God. We did it! Finally! Wait, guys, it's me, Nug! Dude, Nug Raid works. Got the pun, Nug Raid. Dude, it <laughs> works! It wasn't oh crazy! Oh my god, bro. I'm so happy this finally works. It finally works. I don't have to. Oh my I'm god. I'm sorry for doubting you. It's okay, Vapic. It works. <laughs> Lastly, big thanks to today's sponsor, G Park. G Park is an amazing free to play game that offers a plethora of props, costumes, and gameplay experiences, all of which are available for free. You have the freedom to create truly unique characters that reflect your personal style. G Park offers an extensive and diverse collection of games that cater to all kinds of gaming preferences, but it doesn't stop there. G Park also empowers you to become a game creator yourself, even if you're just starting out. Intuitive game creation tools make it easy for you to bring your ideas to life. With a welcoming and inclusive atmosphere, players from all over the world come together to share their passion for gaming. One of the ways you can do this is through the friendly voice chat room that allows you to engage in real-time conversations. You can download and play G-Park today using the top link in the description. Again, thanks to G-Park for sponsoring this video. Anyways, goodbye!